Hi everybody. So my name is Jessie and I do somewhat in-depth uh, perfume reviews and I do them in ASMR format. So if you like perfume and especially if you like ASMR, you are in the right place. Uh, so normally I have done all my videos whispered, but today I'm doing more of a soft-spoken voice, um, so just wanted to try out something different, and yeah, you can let me know in the comments um, how it sounds, if you prefer the soft-spoken voice, or if you prefer whispers, or if you like both of them. I just thought it'd be nice to try something different today. So, what I've got for the review today. I'm really excited about this. This is Bond number nine, Nolita, N-O-L-I-T-A, Nolita. This bottle is 100 milliliters, so it's definitely on the larger size, uh, on the larger side. And I purchased this on Mercari.com. It's where I purchase a lot of used fragrances. This one was advertised as being unused. I'm guessing that whoever bought it might have sprayed it a couple times and either didn't like it or just wanted to resell it but it is basically like new. It came with this box here. And then as you can see, the fragrance is inside here. So all of the Bond number no. 9 fragrances, they come in these bottles that are this shape, sort of like a star, and they have this top here, but all of the bottles have very unique, um, very unique styles and designs and colors, so they're really fun. Um, I've definitely seen a lot of the other bottles. This is the only one that I have ever had myself. Bond number no. 9 fragrances are very, very expensive. They're definitely a little bit out of my budget. Um, I got a really good deal on this one on Mercari. I don't think I'm going to keep it. I really want to, but I do think that I can find similar types of fragrances that um, are not quite as expensive. So I think if another few years goes by and I don't find something that smells quite as nice and similar, maybe I could repurchase this back again one day and get a find a good deal on it again. But I think for now, I am going to resell this because I know I'll be able to resell it and not lose any money. So, um, so before get into the actual review. Um, I did want to say that I did try to dress on theme as usual and this is very, as you can see, it's got these um, different colored lips so it's very like playful, flirty, fun. I'll get into the scent more soon but the scent is very floral, fresh, citrusy, very, very girly, um, yeah, and so, anyway, what I wore here is, this is definitely a summer, spring-summer, um, outfit, and we are in the dead of winter. It is almost, it's about a week away from the darkest day of the year, so... <laughs> I'll wear this outside right now, but I'm wearing it for this video, which is kind of fun. It's just this very summery dress um, with flowers, and it's got these fun little sleeves here. And then I've also got the 
these are moonstone earrings, I think. Um, I purchased these and I wrapped them and put them on fishhook earrings. And yeah, so these are fun. Alright, so oh, one more thing before I get into the fragrance itself. I'm opening up the packaging because they included this little postcard, which I thought was kind of cute. It says, instructions for use. Open your bottle, breathe in. Congratulations, you just caught a whiff of New York. It says a lot more, obviously, as you can see. On the back side, it says... Basically, it looks like you can fill this out and send it in and um, receive offers and free samples and things like that. So, that's kind of fun. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and spray this. And we can smell it together. So, that is the cat. Here's the atomizer. It's gold. It's a gold metal atomizer. Alright. So here are my sticky notes. I have almost made it through the orange. <laughs> but I did order some other sort of sticky note paper things to spray on because I think that they'll look a lot, a lot prettier than these sticky notes which are just kind of basic office supplies. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and spray this. Mm. So this is super fresh. This is very fresh, very floral. Definitely also citrusy. What's really funny is that when I smelled this right away, to me it smelled like green apple. It still does. It smells like green apple to me. Um, there is no apple, no green apple note in here, but that's definitely what I smelled. So, and I think that I saw some of the other reviewers um, on Fragrantica.com wrote that they also smell green apple, so it's not just me. So let's go ahead and read the main accords. So I'm going to read the main accords from top to bottom. So first we have white floral, citrus, floral, musky, powdery, amber, witty, animalic, soft, spicy, and rose. I am really surprised that they don't have a fresh accord in here because to me, this is very fresh. Um, I can smell those other accords that they mentioned the amber, woody, and a malic. but I would say more so what I get is a very, very fresh floral citrus. The other thing about this bottle is that it's completely opaque, and so I knew that I either had to sell it now before I've used any of it, or I had to just keep it because I wouldn't be able to resell it. I wouldn't be able to tell someone how much was left. Um, I know I got this full. I can feel that it's full. And I am altogether going to use about five sprays. Because I sprayed it on myself about four times to test it out a week ago. And then today I'm spraying it once. So that's kind of the issue with opaque bottles. You don't know how much you've used, so they're really hard to resell and feel like you're being honest because I wouldn't want somebody to 
I think they're getting a full bottle and really they're getting this much. That would be unfortunate. Okay, so let's go ahead and read the notes. <coughs> so we've got two top notes. We have a top note of tangerine and a second top note of freesia. So tangerine and freesia. I definitely smell the tangerine. It's very citrusy. That's the only citrus note, but to me, I get a lot of citrus from this. And then freesia, I think I've said this before, but honestly, I've never smelled freesia on its own, so I'm not going to comment and say if I smell the freesia or not, just because I'm not confident enough about that floral, so I really need to smell some this spring. Okay, so secondly, uh, for the middle notes, we have middle notes of lily, jasmine, sambac, and rose. So I definitely do smell the lily, and that's part of what makes this fragrance so um, fresh and high-pitched to me. This fragrance to me has a very high tone, very high pitch. It's up here. Um, the jasmine sambac. I think I get a little bit of that, but not as much as the lily. And same with the rose. The rose I don't really smell as much. I think the willy stands out to me. Okay, and then for the base notes, we have we have musk, amber, and sandalwood. So I do get a little bit of muskiness from this perfume. And I do get, I think, a little bit of amber and sandalwood, but it's nothing that stands out to me. Um, like I said, this perfume for me is much more on the fresher, brighter, invigorating side, so I don't get a whole lot of those base notes. So to recap, for me, the two notes that I smell the most in this fragrance, those would be the tangerine and the willy. So it just makes it a very invigorating, happy, uplifting scent. Really good scent for spring or summer, but especially spring and definitely a day scent. So I also wanted to show you what other Fragrantica users are saying that they smell most. So I'm going to click on the votes. And I am seeing that the other users are saying that they smell the tangerine the most, which is also also what I would say I smell the most. And then secondly, they are saying they smell musk. So yeah, this is musky. I feel like a lot of times I do not pick out musk. Um, in perfumes because it always just blends into the background so nicely. So it is musky, but like I said to me, I smell the tangerine and the lily the most. Thirdly, people are saying that they smell the freesia, and then fourthly, the lily, then the amber, then the sandalwood, then the jasmine, and then the rose. So pretty similar to what I'm also smelling. This is a really nice scent. It is really nice. It's probably not one that everybody would love because again, it's definitely, it's very fresh and high pitched. Some people, um, some people might find it a little off putting. Some people might say that it gives them a headache or that it's a little bit screechy. And like I said, I really smell green apple. That's really what I got when I smelled this. Um, but 
there's no green apple in it. Um, but I have seen a few people comparing this to the, um, DKNY Be Delicious, the one that's in the green apple bottle. Um, yeah. Okay, so, let's go ahead and read a few other statistics. Where is the cap? Oh, yeah. I'm gonna put the cap back on. Um, but before I, actually, before I read statistics, I just wanted to show you, I have quite a few other bond number nine samples. Um, I've gotten these all on Mercari. This one's called Highline. This one is Central Park West. This one's really nice. It has a lang lang and some other florals, so it's very creamy, kind of warm, tropical florals. This one is Shelter Island. I remember this one was kind of like marine, unisex. Um, this one is Hamptons. I feel like this one was kind of similar to the last one. I don't know. I'm selling all of these ones, so I'm not keeping them. Here's Nolita. I think I have like two samples of this, so I'll hang on to one of them. Since I'm not going to be keeping this per this whole bottle, I'll hang on to a sample so I can always remember what it smells like. This is Bryant Park. I honestly forget what this one smells like. And this one is Chinatown. I think this one's kind of like floral spicy, but I don't totally remember. This one was in a much smaller bottle. Yeah. So, yeah. Definitely smelled quite a few um, of the Bond Number no. Nine fragrances, but like I said, they're definitely all a little bit out of my price range. I don't know what a new bottle goes for. Let's see. Nine. Um, a hundred milliliter bottle. So I'm looking. And even on FragranceNet.com, which is notoriously affordable site for buying perfumes, a 100 milliliter bottle of this runs around $307, so that's a lot. So, as you can see, that's very expensive. Um, definitely out of my budget. I think if I felt, if I liked this even a little more, I would keep it, because I didn't pay that much for it. I paid over a hundred dollars, but maybe just like 130, I think, 140. But even so, that's a lot of money, so I think I'm gonna resell it. Um, okay, so let's look at some other statistics on this fragrance. So this has an overall rating of 3.89 out of five with 171 votes. I'm honestly surprised that this doesn't have more votes on it. Maybe it's one that a lot of people haven't tried or worn yet. I mean, there is the price barrier, obviously. A lot of people are not able to spend so much money on a fragrance, so that's probably a big piece of it. But 3.87 is a pretty good rating, kind of mid-range, like good, but not, not anything super high up there, what I'm used to seeing. Um, it looks like this fragrance was launched in 2017, so it's been around for a few years, a little over five years, um, so it's definitely been around for a bit, but yeah, not super old. Let's look at some other statistics. Um, okay, so for longevity, people are saying that this is moderate to long-lasting, um, which is kind of surprising because this has a lot of very um, delicate, fresh top notes, so that's pretty good um, considering 
it's it's that sort of perfume. Um, from what I remember when I wore this, it did actually have decent longevity. I, yeah, I don't remember how many hours. It was at least five hours, though, that I was smelling my, um, my arm, and I could still smell the, the fragrance. So, yeah, definitely has pretty good longevity. And then for the sillage, people are saying that this has a, um, moderate to slightly intimate sillage. Yeah, I would say it's moderate. Um, a little, a little bit more close to the body, but again, because it's, um, such a bright fragrance, it's the sort of thing that I think a lot of people would smell if they get close enough to you. Just because it has a presence, because it's so bright and fresh. Okay, and then for gender, people say that this is more female. Although they're not rating it super, super female. But only like 40 people or so have voted on this. I would say this is extremely feminine. This is like... To me, this is like a 9 or a 10 out of 10 for femininity. Like, yeah. I would say this is extremely feminine. To me, this is, yeah, it's just very fresh, um, very light and floral. So I would say it's very, very much on the feminine side. And then for price value, pretty much everybody is agreeing that this is um, more overpriced. Definitely more than they want to pay for it. Um, I can understand that because, um, yeah, I mean, it's just an expensive perfume. It is really nice. And like I said, if I don't find something a couple years later, if I'm still smelling this and I'm still loving it so much and I haven't found something similar at a lower price point, I would maybe go back and buy this. But I think for now, I'm going to part with it just because it's so expensive. Okay, so let's go ahead and read a few random reviews and see what some other people have to say about this perfume. Okay, so somebody who really likes this perfume says, love from first sniff. Such a lovely feminine scent, so delicate. I get sweet citrus, freesia, lily, rose, jasmine on a bed of warm amber sandalwood that is balanced by the cleanliness of musk. So well balanced like most Bond number no. 9 perfumes. Notes are pretty familiar but smell very unique and universal in terms of wear. Can be worn any time of the year and for any occasion. All right, let's see. Somebody else who feels kind of meh about this says, I wish someone could explain to me, like I am five years old, what is, uh, what it is that makes American fragrances so inidentifiable. With the exception of Tom Ford, I can smell it an American fragrance a mile away. Unfortunately, this is not necessarily a compliment. The notes in Nolita almost, sorry, the notes in Nolita are amongst my favorite in the world. I obviously like powdery, but some of my second favorite scents, Jicky and almost everything from Guerlain are not powdery. There is something nervous and perfectly American in this scent. It is missing an earthy sexiness that I love. But what is it and why is it? Mm -hmm. Alright, so somebody who feels kind of meh about this fragrance says, This is sweet and musky and a bit pungent like a men's cologne or aftershave. While I love green florals, this one felt a bit too assertive for me, as if it was wearing me, not the other way around. 
The longevity and projection are pretty impressive for what it is and the price point. I love freesias, but they are lost in this one. An okay spring slash summer daytime scent. Okay, let's find somebody who does not like this fragrance. This person says, this is terrible. Smells like a cheap, unoriginal celebrity fragrance. It could cost 10 times less. Super boring and generic. Not even gonna waste my skin on the sample. Let's see, something else. Okay, somebody else who really likes this says, Pucker up because the opening notes of this fragrance smell like a kiss. Like it's just kissing you all over. It's the Freesia. And I absolutely love it. Very fresh and alluring. And I found myself continuing to go back to my wrist and smell it. It's very, it's a very unique fragrance for me. I haven't smelled anything quite like it. And I love that it's definitely my signature fragrance right now for the last few days. And I'm so enjoying it. Let's go ahead and find one more review. Somebody who does not like this as much. Okay, somebody who does not like it says green apple to a sweeter side. Very strange from the brand, very mainstream. It is quite difficult to make a green apple an expensive fragrance. So yeah, that was a woman who also smelled green apple. Yeah, I definitely smelled green apple. I really like it. And I've noticed that a lot of times I don't know, it feels like there's a bias towards um, scents like this. It feels like, mm, I don't know why, but it, I'm getting the impression that a lot of people who um, spend more time in maybe, yeah, know more about perfume or um, have more niche and expensive fragrances tend to not go for this sort of type of perfume, something that's just pretty and fresh and floral. I'm not sure why, but I noticed that always on Fragrantica, the fragrances with the highest votes on average always, always tend to be ones that are much heavier, spicier, woodier. Um, I've just always noticed that. Has anybody else noticed that? Um, I don't know why, but those are the ones that tend to get the highest ratings. And it's just interesting because I don't feel that way myself. A lot of times the ones that have the highest ratings on Fragrantica are the ones that I would never personally wear. They might smell very beautiful, but I wouldn't want to smell like it all day. It's just too much, way too strong. So I do tend to like freshies and floral scents and um, yeah, this one is not like super light, like I said. Definitely got a presence to it and I do think it has good longevity. But, again, it's it's just very pretty, very fresh, floral, feminine, very fun. I think that's why it's got these lips on it. It's flirty, fun. So, alright everybody, so that is everything that I have for today's review. And I hope you like the soft-spoken. My voice is a little bit, um broken. I don't know how to say. It's on the scratchier side because I'm still getting over COVID. I had COVID mm, going on two and a half weeks ago and uh, I'm still getting over COVID. So maybe this wasn't the best day to try a soft spoken video, but um, anyway, I'm sending you all some love and Hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day or evening, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!